welcome everybody on the VST channel where I speak tech then I'm here and today it is the 17th of August so I have been using the latest August firmware on my beloved Samsung Galaxy S21 Plus and in this video guys I'm gonna show you where Samsung are now with the August firmware how fluid the phone is camera shutter lag or camera shutter speed if you want some benchmarks like anti 2 and Geekbench but most and foremost I'm gonna try to use the phone as if I'm outside in the nature not shooting a video for you trying to use it as a real user so I'm gonna try to stay as close as I can to the real use case scenario so I'm gonna put some apps I'm gonna try to see how I can change between the apps so also try to test the dust changer animations up starting up closing all of that this is what I'm doing in general in these videos and if you're here for the first time you might as well want to check my other videos I do a lot of videos like this but also videos on smartphone photography smartphone reviews application reviews like top Android apps I do test all the latest Android 12 installments on my pixel device and etc and etc so if you're here for the tech fun you might as well want to subscribe for my channel and if you do so I will find you and personally thank you <laughs> so that's pretty much appreciated now back on the video took a bit of a different approach guys usually I'm doing all these things inside my videos but they are way too long people don't like to look at long content so I already updated my phone to the very latest August patch let me just show you the software version trying to go for a software update boom your software is up to date security patch level the 1st of August you can see the current version is right now the AUGM so this is the indication guys if you have the AGM you're most probably running the latest One UI 3.1 August 1st security patch with all the improvements and the bug fixes now this particular patch didn't really have a very long change log one of my favorites just improving things so that's why we need to test them you probably know that the last few weeks we were very busy and packed for Samsung because unpacked right packed and unpacked so they presented some new phones like the new Volvo flaunt the flip and the fold and etc but nevertheless I think this is the 15 update consecutive update for the Samsung S21 series which kind of makes one of the most updated phones in the history ever so from the release to now today is the 17th of August they push more than 15 stable updates and I don't think that there is any other brand that can do so right so guys without any further ado we're gonna be starting here with some of the activities but I told you this time I took another approach so I installed the ROM a couple of days ago battery life has been great on me I also deleted the cache partition by going into the phone's recovery so if you want to check this step you can see one of my older videos where I do this I'm gonna put some links there I also ran Galaxy Labs you should know that Galaxy Labs have been renamed to Good Guardians when you download Good Guardians every time guys you do perform an update go here to Galaxy App Booster and optimize all apps usually it will only optimize the apps that have been used in the past 30 days I optimize all my 699 apps if you have more than 699 apps please leave a comment down below I'm going to find you and shake your hand man you'll deserve really great bonus all right guys now first thing I want to test is opening and closing the camera because that's very important for me I know there are a lot of fans photo fans out there that are looking for Samsung to optimize this experience so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take the phone in my hand and try to start the camera now by the way to set the scene I've closed all the applications right nothing is running phone is not so hot I have like 25 26 degrees inside the room so let me just try to open the camera okay opening okay that was not bad closing opening closing are we now at a point where apparently Samsung fixed this camera opening and closing let's see I hope so so opening and closing works right now quite good now we're gonna be doing this also after some benchmarks where the phone is heated to see if the phone can perform so good so right now opening and closing seems to work quite quite well now the next tests are gonna be testing the camera shutter lag so I'm gonna bring my friend here which I'm gonna to try to take some photos of um, and I'm gonna see how this is going to 
perform I'm going to focus on the helmet all right and guys I can just put the phone into the frame try to do one shot okay another shot my screen optimizer is disabled so that it will not affect the shutter speed so let's try to do so numerous photos all right you know it is not so bad guys right it's not yet at the speed I would like to have it but you can just see I snapped a lot of photos and it was working quite nice so let me just try to open the camera again right closing opening closing opening right focus closing and I'm gonna do some more shots here all right okay that's not so bad by the way let's try to go into settings and check the camera version right now we have the version 11.0.0.3.16 so this is the camera version from the latest update now let's try to check also the launcher version so I'm gonna go to settings I'm gonna go here to about home screen and we see that we have 12 one zero seven fifteen so if you have this version of the one UI home then you're most probably running one of the latest firmwares okay let's also try to check Samsung internet now by the way last few days Samsung pushed out the version 15 I think of the browser with a lot of security improvements so if you want to download it you can go from the Galaxy store and download this latest version let's check the version here okay I'm gonna go to settings we're gonna go to about Samsung internet all right I'm still using version 14 now version 15 should be out of beta so we can all go and update it okay so this is yet not the latest version let's go back in the camera I just want to switch between the menus see how the phone will behave so I'm gonna to go to video to more okay now back to video okay photo portrait right night mode panorama I think it's quite a nice single take I'm gonna to try to open the camera again so open close all right open close okay not so bad I'm gonna go back here to the photo mode let's put the scene optimizer and see if it's going to get a bit more laggy no, I think no. All right. Now, guys, from what I see, this is probably one of the smoothest camera opening and closing from all the previous ROMs there. So what I'm kind of trying to say, Samsung, good job on the camera opening, camera closing, also, of course, on the camera shutter speed. All right, guys. Now, let me close all of the applications and let me start GeekBank. We have the results from all the previous tests, so I'm very, very eager to understand if we are able to beat our previous results so I'm gonna be opening here the Geekbench and now running the CPU benchmark gonna speed up the video guys trying to save your time so let's see what the result is gonna be all right let me slow down the test I want to show you guys some of the previous results so this was before July so probably April May so 597 single core 2851 on the multi-core then I think I got 614 that's probably was April 614 on the single core 1711 on the multi well it was a bit better but the single core was low and this is actually what I get from the July update so I got 909 points on the single core and a whooping 3058 on the multi-core which kind of was beating all the results from May and April and that guys yeah, let's see we are very close to see what you're gonna get here from the August update so let me just see I'm gonna put this here right so you can compare this is here what I got from the July update 909 3058 Ooh, what 512 1957 oh my god this looks very very strange guys this is nowhere close to what I got last time right and I'm not gonna show I'm gonna try to run the benchmark one more time right let's just run it one more time because I don't want to accept this result okay running it and I'm gonna speed up the video again I ran the test a second time and yep yeah. That's the reality, so 524 points on the single core score versus almost like a double result from the July update. 2254 points on the multi-core score 
compared to 3058 so okay I'm not sure what is going on but I'm gonna close the Geekbench and I'm gonna be starting directly Antutu okay so let's just see how much we're gonna get with Antutu. You can see last time I got 663 so 663k which was kind of a nice result so I'm gonna be doing the test again it's interesting guys and while I'm doing this just you need to know I'm not the biggest fan out there to this synthetic test because that's what they are, they are synthetic tests and the company is usually putting a lot of effort to get certain results out of those tests. I mean the company producing the phones usually know what to manipulate, kind of get higher and higher ranking. Not always the case, right? Not probably with Geekbench. But my idea is that sometime you might get worse performance on the test and still your phone be in a usable mode, which we saw right now with opening and closing the camera and testing the camera shutter speed and lag. What we're going to be testing directly after the anti to benchmark is going to be opening and closing applications and just testing the overall smoothness of the user interface. All right, let me speed up the video and see how much we're going to get from Android 2. guys as we approach the end of the end to test I want to show you the exact score I got from the July firmware it was 663k 663 and the 690k were achieved from the May update so with the scores from Geekbench honestly I'm not too optimistic I even think that we're probably gonna get lower score than last time which was 663k but okay let's see not so much to go let's speed it up and compare the results okay 598,000 all right I think this was kind of expected I don't know really what is going on maybe it has to do something with thermal management again guys lower scores doesn't really mean bad performance you need to understand that the phone needs to do some compromises and find like an optimized way between performance and battery usage CPU usage and etc what it means is that probably it will not run so hot and still will do all the things with the speed you want now I want to show you guys something that I do as a, a little trick if you go to good guardians there is something called a thermal guardian now inside thermal guardian there is a thermal threshold and you can either go with the default one but in my case I have upped the tolerance a bit which means that it should in general allow my phone to reach up higher temperatures and don't throttle which kind of means that it will not cripple the performance still when the phone is running hot this is actually thermal throttling now when you probably are using your phone with this threshold and your phone tends to use a bit more CPU and battery and it gets to a point where the battery and everything else is very hot the phone will start throttling which means that it will kind of start holding the horses down and down to optimize the thermal stability now in my case I'm using the max setting here and still I got these results I'm not saying that's bad right you might think right now that it's bad but hey let's do a real use test let me open some applications and try to see how the phone will behave so let's do a recent menu test so I'm gonna open Google okay let me just open some apps guys and see how this all will behave okay now let's open the recent menu all right the recent menu here okay take the phone in my hand by the way the phone is now a bit hotter after the Antutu and the Geekbench test let's try also to do now camera test okay opening closing opening closing opening all right so you see what I mean guys this was performing really worse in one of the previous updates like the May the July and the April one right now in the August update I'll tend to say that Samsung finally fixed it so the phone is right now hot after all these tests and etc and still I'm able to open and close my camera without some very horrible lags and stutters which I observed in the previous firmware and now I have these applications okay no problem at all opening closing animations I think all of this is really running very 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 smooth so not a problem at all let me just open some more applications guys let me just open Chrome okay let me just open Snapseed okay I'm gonna open Messenger okay I'm gonna open Core I'm gonna open here the app gallery from Huawei CPU Z 
right let's open also the cx file explorer right now i think i've opened quite a lot of applications um steam phone is running quite okay so i can just go into the recent menu i can choose one application all right there is no significant starter at all all right let me just now do one more test opening camera closing the camera okay now you see now i think it will start to have some problems opening closing opening cl no it is still I think running stable now again you should not expect like iOS iPhone style opening camera but I think they're very close and I think it really performs far better than what we've seen into the previous firmwares I can tell you in the previous firmwares and you can check my videos it was really horrible right now after opening so much applications and the phone is not running hotter I think it's still okay right now I've closed all the applications and it still does the job let's do one more test here on the shuttle lag okay let me remove the scene optimizer let's try to okay see i'm able to take all the pictures I, I would say that samsung finally did a nice job with this update okay some final checks before we wrap up the video i usually go into biometrics and security and i want to check here the more biometric settings and the security patch because sometimes this gets also updated fingerprint 5101 face recognition 20115 seems to be the latest patch okay all right the phone operates quite nice there's no problem at all all the recent menu uh, work like expected i would say quite nice update from samsung so i really want to thank samsung for this update i think they're getting better and better and at some point i think they're gonna nail it down guys if you like videos like this subscribe to the channel like the video if you have any questions for me just leave a comment down below or join our telegram chat i really hope that you and your families will stay safe until we meet next time and with that said guys VST over and bye